being your amazing, queer, beautiful self is an act of resistance, right? Um, a lot of people think that we shouldn't be here. So just living in your truth is an amazing thing to do. On this segment of Poppin', our producers take a look at the resilient LGBTQ youth of Philadelphia and those that help to uplift them and enact change within their community. We talk to youth coordinator Francisco Cortez and the youth organizers at Galay, youth advocate Ty Unique Nelson at the Mazzoni Center, and the executive director of the Office of LGBTQ Affairs, Amber Hikes, on the issue that LGBTQ youth face every day, as well as what is being done to combat these problems. We start with Ty Unique Nelson of the Mazzoni Center here in Philadelphia. My name is Ty Unique Nelson. I am born and raised in West Philadelphia, and I work here at the Mazzoni Center as our ally associate. I am in charge of most of our youth recruitment and GSA development. So the Ally Safe Schools program is a program that was developed in 1997, I believe. And as of now, we have our events portion where we plan Philly Youth Pride. We have our lead conference coming up soon. Um, we have a citywide service learning day that's supposed to happen four times a year. Our student leadership board is composed of GSA leaders from around the city. So they come to us and they say, I want to make a change. And then they become organizers and they tell us what they think that we should do because who knows better what the youth needs better than the youth. Ty Unique is very familiar with what the youth need support, something that has shaped her into the leader that she is today. When I came out, my counselor had told me and my partner that we weren't allowed to hold hands or we would be suspended. And from there, I had the help of an amazing teacher who was an ally, and she told me um, that I basically had to do something about it because this is, it, this is the way that things are, but if we don't do anything about it, then this is the way that things will stay. LGBTQ youth do, in fact, know what they need the most. Safe spaces. We now go to Galay an organization supporting LGBTQ members in the Latinx community. So we're here today with Francisco, who is the interim executive director of Galay. So what is Galay? So Galay is a queer Latino social justice organization. We were founded 30 years ago during the HIV epidemic when there was no resources specifically for the Latino community around HIV services. We have the youth program. We also have TIP, which is the Trans Equity Project. We also do HIV testing and STD screening here. Everything is confidential. Why do you come to Galay? So the reason why I come to Galay is because everyone like that's in this building are very calm, they're collective, they're really sweet. Um, you can come here after school and you can get resources, you can get like people to talk to and everything about what's your situation, what's going on, and we, our door is always open, so we're always here. In addition to providing health resources and support, Galay hosts an annual prom for the LGBTQ youth who have not always felt accepted in their schools. So I heard there was an alternative prom, what is it? So Alternative Prom is an LGBT space. It's specifically for me for anybody, but it's mostly, it's mostly for LGBT youth. It all started actually 23 years ago with a bunch of the young people that were coming to the then youth coordinator, Louis Ortiz, and said, you know, our prom isn't welcoming, like we want a prom for us. And so Louis was like, well, let's create a prom. And so that happened 23 years ago, and 23 years later today, we are able to have this event every year for about a hundred plus Philadelphian youth. Why is the alternative prom so important to you? Because going to alternative prom, I'm able to talk to more people that I'm comfortable with because I have an actual bond with. I've spoken to them more and they see the real me. They don't see the person that I am when I'm inside a school because I'm constantly being censored while I'm in school. For me, I just think of it as a prom of our own. So, you know, not a lot of us um, LGBT youth, you know, go to our, our prom because, you know, we either feel uncomfortable or we can't dress the way how we want to dress. We have to dress that certain dress code. And, you know, our, the alternative prom is be you. Organizations like Galay and the Mazzoni Center are not the only advocates urging LGBTQ youth to be themselves. We asked Amber Hikes, Executive Director of the LGBT Affairs at the Mayor's Office, to speak about what's being done on a policy level. 
one of the most helpful things that this office can do is listen to LGBTQ youth and do what we can where we are to provide not just resources, but policy that can help solve some of the issues that they're experiencing, whether those issues are in, in school, um, whether these youth are in care, possibly with DHS, experiencing homelessness. So we work with um, Valley Youth House and the Office of Homeless Services to make sure that the needs of LGBTQ youth are specifically focused on because we know that LGBTQ youth are overrepresented in, in these systems um, profoundly and then LGBTQ youth of color, of course, especially in Philadelphia, are even more represented. So it's our job to make sure that we're focusing on the most marginalized populations. What are some ways that you see LGBTQ youth being resilient in Philly? We're making clubs in our schools. We're, we're showing faith. We're going to Pride, we're going to Alphas, we're letting people know that we're here. We are showing people that we don't care what they say, what they do to us, because we're still going to stick around, even if they try to put us through hell. Like, So we're just making sure that they know that we're not going anywhere. We're definitely thriving um, because you see people opening GSAs, you see people being leaders in their communities, you see people still standing up for their rights in schools, um, no matter if the rights that are being snatched from students go outside of LGBTQ youth. I say all the time that LGBTQ youth, they're not the voice of the next generation, they're the voice of this generation. Like right now, they are leading us, they're showing us the way. We do need to step up and use our access to be able to elevate those voices or get the hell out of their way. Once again, I'm Jayla and that's What's, What's Poppin'? poppin'? <laughs> <laughs>